All right, so I figured as I'm doing these installs, I'm putting these bolts back in so I don't lose them. So I'm putting every screw that I took out back in its spot where it needs to go. And I can't tell you how excited I am about this build for the soft tail. Uh, I don't know if some of you guys missed the video of when I posted the introduction and the breakdown of this bike called Anubis. But this build is going to be spectacular because I'm bringing this baby back up from, from the dead, basically. You know what I'm saying? So as we're going through the process, what I've done so far is, if you want to know, if you're interested, what I've done so far is I ordered the rims. I ordered some fat spoke rims. It's going to be 23s in the front, 18s in the back. Okay, if you got 23s in the front and 16s on the back, it's a kind of like a weird look. It looks like your bike is doing a wheelie all the time. So I don't want that look, right? Um, the, next, the next couple of things now, I got Hogworks sent me a whole pack of stuff that I need, the lights and all that stuff that's, that's on the way. And of course, me and Bad Dad, we're having our talks about some stuff that we need to do. Um, where the heck does these go? Oh, here we go. And on top of that, I have, uh, who else am I talking with? Oh yeah, I ordered the Bassani, Bassani 2-in-1, not 2-in-1, um, true dual exhaust system. That's from Bassani's. And where else am I coming from? I think that's all I got so far. I got the floorboard piece that was broken. Excuse my, excuse me, guys. I'm just thinking, thinking about this as I'm going through it. I got the floorboard piece that was broken before on the other side, so that's purchased. And then I also bought a floorboard relocator, which is fantastic. I get to relocate the floorboard a little bit, bringing it outwards just a tad bit. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let me go get these bolts in on that side so I don't lose anything. Now, the process of this whole build, it's about having fun. Let me check and make sure I got all my bolts in there. Yeah, it's about having fun, enjoying every second of it, and not giving up. Let's go, man. Yeah, so now I'm on the clutch side. I'm just gonna put these bolts back in, in the spots to where I know they need to go. That way, once again, I don't have to worry about what is what, what goes where, what doesn't go there, what goes, you know what I mean? Now guys, leave it in the comments too if you have ideas about like, what are some of the things that you think I should be doing on a bike? Of course, a lot of y'all know it's gonna definitely have the Cholo look, but if you're thinking about some unique things that you believe will look really good on Anubis, I would like to know. I would like to know. Now, let me see, is your thing here? Yep. I had a toss up between the, between the, uh, the 21s or the 23s, and it only made sense for me to get the 23s. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm 6'2", I want to give the I want to give myself a little height on this bike. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, and then the breather. I kind of like the breather. Let me show y'all the breather. So the breather, right? I like the breather. It's a it's a classic original breather that goes on the bike. I do like it. I don't have a problem, but. I want to get an, a more aggressive breather. More, I like the cone breather that comes out to the point. That's what I like. But give me your thoughts. Should I keep it or not? You know what I'm saying? What do you think should be done with that part? And I'll give you guys another full part so you can see what the bike looks like completely. So you get the full spectrum of the bike. Giving you guys the full angles. Right, this is not a long video at all. I have it on the lift. So I'll give you guys a list of what I'm gonna be changing out. Fully, a full list. Let's just do it right now. All right, let me give you guys what the bike looked like fully. That way you see it on the lift. 
Man, if you don't have a lift in your garage and you're looking to get a lift, I'm telling you, lifts are amazing. I bought this lift from, from uh, Discount Ramps. I'm plugging them, but I'm not making any money from them. That's just my natural feedback. This one, I have the sides over there in the corner. You can make it wider if you want to put like a bigger vehicle in here, a trike or something on it. This one is an 1,800 pound maximum heavy duty support system, which I love. All right, so you know what? Let's start from the back on what are some of the things that I'm gonna do on this bike. So first and foremost, this is gonna get shined up. That way I get to see the frame, what the frame looks like. See that dirt right there? That's all from just this, right? The belt, I looked at the belt already. The belt is in, is in immaculate condition. This is no, nothing wrong with the belt. This here I'm taking off, okay? Because I'm gonna change the tires. Taking this off and I'm gonna powder coat this whole thing is gonna be the different color. I might get this changed out as well. Um, the rims is gonna be 18 inch rims in the back. It's all fat spokes and I'm gonna put a, maybe a 140 slash 70 on here on the rear. And then we're gonna do the rear fender coming down to a six inch drop. Now here's my question. I was contemplating on putting the lights and the plates back here on the fender or I was thinking about putting a side plate because I, I love that look. Not, not, the, not the vertical, the horizontal plate. So from, the, from this side, when you look at the bike in the back, it will have the plate this way. Let me know your thoughts on that. Is that a yay? Is that a nay? Let me know what you think about that, okay? Um, over here, the clutch, from when, I, from when I rode the bike, nothing felt wrong with the clutch. I'm not gonna go in here yet. Um, but being that it's already taken apart, when I get everything, I might just take out the clutch just to inspect it and see what that looks like everything looks really good all the teeth looks great all right over here looks good the tensioner looks good the tension system here that's in good condition love that got a little scuff right here on the um the rear primary but that's okay that's flat that's flat and you won't see that because the tank the oil tank is going to cover all of that let's see what else we got now, anything else in here? Yes, so I'm expecting to get a whole entire forward control system from, from um, a company. I'll plug the company later on if I happen to get it. So it's gonna be the whole entire system with the shift linkage kit that's gonna match the style that I'm looking for. The floorboard kit, I'm taking, let me see. This is kind of rusted, see that? So eventually, I'll just remove this whole thing take it and get it powder coated because you know rust can spread and I want to make sure that this is not going to start messing up anymore so we're going to re-powder coat that that would be a great thing get that done and then let's go to the other side so I can show you um, here this is broken see how this is this is broken so we're going to change that piece out I already ordered that piece so I'm, ex I'm excited about that to come this is definitely coming off this is ugly as a matter of fact yeah this comes off so this should be like a a little cover which i'm going to have to rip this thing off to get uh to get access to this whole thing but this is going to get ripped off and i'm going to put a whole new brake system on that let's see here the cams definitely going to change those out but not right now i'm not in a hurry i'm just doing what i have to do to get this bike inspected and get it doing what it needs to do, performing properly, and then I'll worry about the cam and then the clutch later on, I might change the clutch system out too, okay? We got up here, we got the rocker top uh, covers removed, okay, that's gonna be two-tone colors, of course. The, let me see, everything else down here is looking good. If you guys have any ideas, right here, there are three um, uh, oil lines that come here. It's hard to find them in black. If you know anybody who was able to find them in black, let me know. I know they have the braided cables that I could use also. So that's one thing I'm gonna look at as well. Um, let's see, I have the two-in-one, no, not the two-in-one. Why well, keep on saying two-in-one? The true dual exhaust, whereas one exhaust is gonna connect right here and it's gonna run out to the back. And then the other one is gonna connect from here and it's gonna run down and go to the back. So that's gonna be a true dual exhaust kit, okay? The front, of course, you know, the front is gonna be 23s. I'm gonna put, what's the number I'm putting? I'm putting either a 120 or a 130 uh, by 70 
in the front then of course i'm gonna get the fender the 23 inch fender when this bike got into the accident all this got scuffed up see can you see that it all got scuffed up but we're going to fix all of that the light system here all of this is coming off it's going to all be smoked smoke black everything is coming off okay that whole front is going to be on a different level um you can see that this got scuffed up as well you know what i'm saying hold on let me get this this lens cleaned up a little bit there we go you can see that that got scuffed up a bit right now this riser is a pullback riser i'm not sure if i like pullback risers however uh i do kind of like my risers moving the proper way because if you look at the pullback riser i don't want to feel like i'm back i don't want to feel like the bike is coming into me because i'm tall so i want to feel like i'm going out so i'm going to buy the riser change out these risers and get the risers that go straight up and of course we're going to have i'm gonna put i'm gonna buy the two inch riser maybe three inches and get the 16 inch bar so if I get the 16 inch bar and put a two inch riser that means I'm gonna have an 18 inch bar if I do the three inch riser I'm gonna have a 19 inch bar either way I'm gonna be very comfortable all of this stuff here nothing is wrong with these these actually all works this all works but like I said I'm changing everything out so if you have a soft tail if you're thinking about a soft tail just reach out to me I got parts and I'm always gonna take him my ride for nation people Another thing I'm going to have to do in this, some people say I don't have to do this. Um, some people say I do, but I'm going to do it regardless. I'm going to take the uh, this whole front off and I'm going to put a rake fork, a bolt on rake fork system on here because that's important for me to have so I could have a lot more free play between the fender and the frame of the bike i don't want anything touching when i put the 23s on here so being i'm putting the 23s i'm going to play it safe and i'm going to put the whole kit on there so that could be good all right so as i'm talking let's step back you guys are with me if you're watching me to this video that's fantastic now the floorboard kit I already got the floorboard kit as a matter of fact i'm going to show you guys the floorboard kit hang tight all right there you go I put the floorboard kit on the floorboard should I say so you can get an idea on how that looks that is custom a custom look it has the black leather by the way that is leather and these are brass rivets which looks ridiculously amazing so now you get a chance to see a little piece added to the bike just look just for me stepping back and you can see already the details added, added to the bike now that relocator I mentioned there's a I bought a relocator that's gonna pull this out about an inch and a half away from everything else it's gonna just gonna bring it out a little bit more give my legs some more room and some more space so that's what I got there okay the the grips I'm not sure which grips I'm gonna go with yet on the handlebars when I do get the handlebars and what I can tell you when I get the handlebars wow you guys are gonna be amazed by the style handlebars I'm getting I'm not getting Carlini's everybody get these everybody get the same things I want to be different I don't want to get what everybody else is getting right so I'm definitely gonna go in and going out different on this what else I got I got I'm definitely gonna powder coat these these levers that's getting powder coated I don't need to spend money buying buying one when I could just powder coat it if I could find some some good colors I might just do that but I know I'm gonna powder coat them the um it already has the charging system up here ready if it works i'm keeping that all right that stays there what else i'm gonna do i'm also gonna put the glow lights in here of course but it's gonna be much better than how they had it situated in the in the breakdown it's gonna be more hidden more secure much more cleaner so for example for the front for the front fender i'm gonna have it running underneath the fender okay for over here i'm gonna have the lights running under here by the tank that way you can't see anything i'm just going to run everything underneath this that way you can't see nothing back here there will be lights here like before they had the lights right here you see that you don't put lights there you could see it we don't need that there you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna have the lights hidden in the back behind here someplace as long as the belt is not touching it so i'm gonna figure that out put that in the area and then of course the fender uh, the same thing for the rear fender. I'm going to have the lights running under the rear fender. And that's that's pretty much it. You also have spaces right here. Right here that you can put lights. So it's a lot of beautiful areas that you can put the lights. So guys, this is it. 
this is the build this is how things are coming along um i'm happy i'm excited about it i'm like a big kid in the candy store right now let me turn this light off so i don't get so much glare i'm like a big kid in the candy store right now and i can tell you that the level of fun that i'm already having it's amazing i mean if you're thinking about getting a second bike go and get a second bike man check out maximum motors and just buy yourself a salvage bike use that bike as your project bike I'm telling you, use it as your project bike because you're going to see this thing. When this thing comes to life, you're going to be like, what the hell? As a matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm keeping y'all here. I am. I'm keeping you here purposely because I love you. Okay? I love you. So what I'm going to show you right now is I'm going to get me some uh, pig spit. Some pig spit. And we're going to dabble some on here. I don't know if you can see the dirt. I don't know if you can see that dirt. But... Check this out. Check out, check out that shine already in that pig spit. Can you see that? You see the difference already? You see what I'm saying? And, and let's just do it together. If you don't have pig spit, I'm telling you, get pig spit for your bike. Pig spit is the truth. It's it's the is it's the ish. It's the business. All right. Look at the life already that I'm already adding to this bike frame. Look at this. I can't make this up, guys. I cannot make this up. And this is not just some, this is not just because it's wet and oh, but what well, when it dries. When it dries, it's gonna look just like this. I mean, look at this. Look at this cleanup. So that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight is cleaning up the frame and getting rid of all this gunk. That way you can see what the bike truly looks like. Look at this. Look at that shine right there. You know what I'm saying? Look at that compared to right there. Look at that compared to right here. And even if I rub this residue that's already on this rag and run it over here, huge difference. Huge difference. You don't believe me? Okay, check this out. I'm trying to put y'all onto stuff, man. So I'm gonna spray some right here. Remember how dusty and grimy that was? Check this out. And this is a rough surface. This is not even a smooth surface. Just gonna tap it, dap it, pick up some of that dirt. You can't tell much, but I can, because of the camera. The camera is hard to pick that up. But huge difference, huge. It's already popping. Look over there, look at the dirt in there, and look at this next to that dirt. Come on. So get your pig spit, guys, get your pig spit. This is gonna have to definitely sand down um, I just found something here that's chipped, so I'm gonna change this whole thing out. Look, I'm happy I stayed here talking to y'all. That's 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 a no-no. So I'm gonna find a whole piece, change that out, and I'll be good on that. All right. So yeah, now I'm going, guys. Listen, let's keep it going. Don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. There's something terrible going on on YouTube right now, and a lot of people are struggling on YouTube. I can tell you that the algorithms really are messed up. There are a lot of YouTubers who might not say it, but we all want to quit because of the fact that YouTube is jacking us up. All of us smaller channels, and when I say smaller channels, if you got 200,000 subscribers and less, you are a small channel. You're not a huge channel. Um, YouTube is really messing up, messing up a lot of things for us, and you guys have to start checking in on our videos, leaving these comments, making sure that you are part of the whole journey, all right? So I'm out of here. Peace.